<laughs> when last Very you, cliche. <laughs> when last you left off, you had entered into the Fey Wild. After forming a binding contract, uh, no, not after. Uh, after forming a seal in order for you to get through the temperament seals that the people outside are doing to unlock the door enough that they can get inside and retrieve something. You never really asked what it was, uh, but that's not why you were there. So who knows if you would have gotten that information. Entering inside, uh, you found that this place was a lot more alive than you expected. Entering inside, it was not much of an issue getting to where the politicians live or the ruler. Uh, the fake wild uh, queen of the summer court, known as Tanya, managed to talk with most of you. However, a couple of you diverged and decided to see what was underneath a bridge that was so shiny. <laughs> they got lost for a while, but eventually made it back to the rest of the team. In the meantime, the rest of the team had uh, managed to speak with her and deal with the situation at hand. She now knows that it's not the secondary party to the contract that is trying to open the door. But due to the limitations of the contract, she's not allowed to do anything. But she can guide you back to the door and perhaps help you by forming contracts with her or her people to gain a little bit more knowledge and a lot more strength. However, you have also been expressly warned not to do this, as it could lead to your entire servitude for the rest of your life, uh, damning your soul once upon death, or undeath, mind you, or eternal servitude until you perish. Nevertheless, uh, that option is available to you. Bringing about the team, uh, Ray tried to learn a little bit more about healing magic, but ultimately could not really figure out the process of cell division. <laughs> uh, human man Dan had contemplated uh, entering into a contract with a fairy, and the rest of the team eventually uh, found a few more things. Becky managed to steal a few things that she found. Uh, oh, damn. Yeah. Accidentally. And the rest of the group managed to just uh, not get into more trouble. Somehow, surprisingly, uh, Human Man Dan and Alyssa were the most well behaved. <laughs> well, at least here. What did I do wrong? Oh, yeah, that's certainly <laughs> true. You also behaved yourself. All right. Uh, Micah also behaved themselves. Yes. Uh, with that regard, though, that's where we're starting. Uh, you do know that the other side of this bridge system is in peril. How you deal with it is up to you. She had given you advice either to stop them in certain ways, mainly killing them, but ultimately it is up to you to decide how you stop the madmen from entering inside. You also were given the information that the people that are currently doing this reside from Frost, the kingdom to the north, which you're quite literally next to the border to, so it's not that hard to go there. Whether you decide to or not is entirely up to you. And this is where we start. So, well, I know what Ray would do, but I'll... I, I can do that whenever. Well, okay. I believe that people need to improve their fighting skills so we can kill everybody. Um not me, because I'm strong. <laughs> um, I'll just get Ray's thing out of the way. Alright. Uh, you there. Ula water? Um, you talking to me? Yes. It seems as though I'm not great at, you know, learning on my own. And it turns out that with lessening time here, it might might be dangerous, but I think worth it in the end that you teach me. Um, I suppose if you have time. I mean, 
I believe it would take less time to learn from you than it would for me to sit in a corner and try to learn by myself. Uh, potentially, but the environment of the Feywild does mess with time. It doesn't seem like you're expressly from here, so I don't know how long your le longevity is. So I quite literally I'm... mean that. If you have time, we can. Well, might as well test my resolve, if it were. Um, alright. Um, what exactly are you trying to expressly learn? Or, what exactly can I try to help you with? I'm in search for any type of healing magic that I can may acquire that can help me aid those who may be dying. Hmm. And what you want is a variant spell to allow self-healing rather than anything else. Hmm. The best way someone of your level would likely have is something called Lay on Hands, if you've heard of it. Have you heard of it? Yeah, um... Yes, I have heard of it, but I have not learned it in my travels. Mm, Alright, it will roughly take about three months to learn, but it's possible. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> when you say that, do you mean months of my life, or months of time? Months of time? I don't know where you currently originate from, Lear main point or the material plane that you exist in but time here will work differently if you learn something here and then go back it's possible you might forget it it's also possible that it might have expanded from three months and then in your world three years or three seconds Damn it. don't know where you're from can't honestly expressly state either well as this group's medic, my time is determined by their time. I must follow them to keep them safe and healthy as they travel. <laughs> now let me ask you this. As someone who is studying in healing magic... I'm just, you know, <laughs> I'm going to go over here because I'm listening to this and he's... He's a terrible medic. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know anyone that uh, teaches healing in other forms? Uh, yes. That of not the magical realm. Uh, so healing without magic. Yes, correct. Uh, yes. Uh, we've had to deal with healing without magic as sometimes magic... Most of the time, magic goes sporadic here. Um, so if you're not careful, you can completely lose your spell. Uh, there is... If you're going to form a contract, form a binding, or simply learn the well of knowledge uh, and... Well, the wellspring of life, really. It's, it has various names, but it, the names don't matter. Uh, its caretaker might be able to help you with that. Could you point me in the general direction? Uh, only Titania knows. Well, only Titania is allowed to tell you. I do know it, but I'm not allowed to technically tell you. <laughs> yes, of course. Then I will inquire from her. Right. Um, their name is Bishop, by the way. <sighs> My queen. Yes. I was told of a healer that does not use magic. So I wish a to learn from them. Yes. Um, there are there are roughly a couple of medics around. Uh, is there a specific name you got? One by the name of Bishop. Oh, the well caretaker. Uh, I suppose I can take you there, but it will be a dangerous trek. Uh. I, not only that, but they don't always take students or allow others to learn, so you must make a very good impression. I, of course, 
I'll do my best on that behalf. Alright. Uh, speaking of that, if we are going to the well, is there anyone else that would like to form a binding contract um, to gain power, knowledge, and the like? Not only that, but uh, then she looks towards Micah, um, looks, and then s says this to Becky specifically, but she's not whispering this. Is there any reason why your companion's over there by the spring well? Oh, uh, that guy? Yes. Um, I'll let you in on a secret. Um, that person has dementia and probably has no clue why they're over there. But Queen, <laughs> I've got a question. <laughs> Queen! Queen? Well, yes. Yes. Okay. Um, can you please explain the properties and the characteristics of this scarab toy? Oh, you found that, did you? I took it. <laughs> that is called that. <laughs> I, I believe it's... You told me anything in here that I desired. Didn't work by standards of, like, theft and thievery. Yes, by our regards, but it still applies to yourself. Well, then I found it. I don't think so, but I really don't care. <laughs> okay. Well, I can give it back, or you I can get it off your hands. She, like, clasps both your hands together like uh, a mother would when uh, kind of talking down to you uh, because uh, you're not in trouble, but... Uh, it's kind of the weird way when they talk to you calmly, but it also seems demeaning. Uh, so she claps both of your hands together, uh, puts hers overlapping yours, and she says, It's all right, dear. You can keep it. Just make sure you don't break it. Um, thank you. I've never had this happen before. Usually I just take things and... Nobody really has ever given me anything, but I'll accept it. Uh, she unfurls your hands, and when she does that, the scarab uh, is in your right palm, and then it begins to crawl up your arm up to where your uh, joint, uh, the very top joint, meets uh, your underarm, and basically clasps on. Ow. It doesn't Ouch. hurt, but it just basically uh, hugs your arm at that point. Wasn't oh. one of the things did not do is ex no. accept gifts? I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been better just to steal it. <laughs> yeah. Well, for oh. that one. Well, anyways. Uh, Damn. I didn't. I just wasn't well, involved, you. so I didn't say anything. <laughs> the scared of the class on. Uh, she then states, Now then, dear, you do now possess something akin to... Well, let's just say scarabs last long, hibernate, and preserve their own lives. In which case, they try to help those that help themselves. In your case, dear, you have been granted a boon. It is a plus one to your AC. Uh, if you go into your character sheet, uh, there is something called AC. It's or uh, armor of class. You just increase the number by one. Okay. Nice. Um, this this thing ain't gonna rip off my arm, is it? Oh, no, 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 dear. However, if you go down by the total of your own health, meaning if you go down to zero, it will bite your arm to try to wake you. But, obviously, its only instinct is to try to help you. But it also is not exactly that smart. So I'm afraid when you go down to zero, you will immediately lose a death save. So, uh, speaking of death saves, Ooh. when you go down to zero and you basically go unconscious, you must make uh, death saves. What that is, is you roll a d20 and get a 10 or above. Three saves means you're fine and you don't die. Three fails means you die. If something attacks you while you're down on the ground, that is considered an automatic fail. Your little bug companion automatically makes you fail as soon as you go down. To so you will only have to fail two <laughs> instead of three. Three. Okay. 
Uh, she or does, however, state, Now then, if you don't want that to happen, please make sure you remove it upon yourself and put it somewhere else. Oh, okay. Well, does it just come off or does it... You know what? I oh, feel like... It doesn't come off automatically. It will fight you. Uh, if you remove it from yourself, you'll take a simple 2d6 uh, points of damage as it tries to cling onto your hand while your arm really. Keep it. Because it looks cool. Like a tattoo. All right. Thank you. Well, thank you. You now receive something that helps you uh, not get hit, but also might kill you. <laughs> Ray is kind of fed up and just wants to learn, but no stuff based on the time restriction. So just real quickly, we'll ask. Hello, ma'am. Oh, uh, can I help you with something? I was wondering if you have any knowledge of any type of healing magic or any magic that could benefit those around me. Uh, maybe. Kind of like a variant of healing, really. Um, if you ever dealt with the necrotic energy, sometimes it can kill you. Other times you can bring a dead body back to life with it. Um, <laughs> it's called necromancy. Hmm. I don't know if I'm to that point of wanting to know that. I kind of want to keep people alive before that happens. Uh, that makes then, sense. then I suggest you probably go and visit Ula. Uh, he's right down there, points to the man you just spoke to. Uh, he deals with more primary life, and I deal with yeah. primary death. Yes. Um, he's great. Walks away sarcastically. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Micah, what were you trying to do by that well, by the way? Yeah. Hmm. See my reflection in the water. Uh, alright. As you see your reflection in the water, you look down and you see a decaying corpse around you. You see half <laughs> of your body basically decayed away. Your hair is basically gnarled and gross looking. There is blood dripping down from, like, Pretend wounds. Uh, the portal you're currently staring at is the portal to the uh, Shadowfell. Uh, however, uh, you're a vampire, so normally you wouldn't be able to see your reflection. Uh, so this is something different, and there might be something there that kind of looks like you. <laughs> but dead. <laughs> or more dead looking. More dead than normal. Hmm. This is concerning. Could it be a foreshadowing? Mm, perhaps. It's kind of hard to tell. Hmm. Uh, Should I... S I'm considering stepping in the water. Uh, well, yeah. Good. In the meantime, you do remember that human man, Dan, when he stepped in a different portal, turned blue. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if I'd turn green if I oh. step in the blue portal. <laughs> hmm. I wonder. <laughs> Let's stick my little toe in. Why? <laughs> uh, you stick your toe in and it begins to dissolve the skin on the bone. Rip my foot out of the water. <laughs> you rip your foot out of the water. Uh, you take one point of damage. <gasps> <laughs> and eventually your toe will heal, but it really hurt <laughs> a lot. It really hurts. Okay. I have to put my damage down somewhere, though, right? I, I already did it for you. Okay. You're the best. Thank you. No problem. Uh, and <laughs> I was about to see use your actual name, not your character's name. Alyssa, what are you doing? Um, I wanted to get further away from the queen because she makes me nervous. That's fair. She's kind of like a mom that's super demeaning and talking down to you. And also has a lot of superpowers. So that's fair. Yeah, like, 
I think she's being, she's acting nice, but I know, I feel like she could turn mean at any moment. Yeah, uh, go ahead and roll insight. Okay. Yeah. Sure, none of us did that. As far as you can tell, she is more or less being nice, but it's kind of like that one topic or subject when uh, you go to a friend's house when you're a little kid. Um, your friend's on edge but doesn't say anything, but you can clearly tell that their mom or guardian keeps looking at them. You know they're in trouble, but as long as you're there, you're fine. Or they're fine and won't get yelled at. <laughs> so something likely happened to her before you guys got there, but she's currently acting as best she can to not go into that subject. You'll likely be fine. Uh, you won't get killed or blown up by a spell. But clearly something happened to her before you guys got here. Or yeah. when you guys got here. Because she was speaking with someone. But we don't know what happened. Is it important? Uh, you don't know what happened because you didn't speak the language. But... Um, <laughs> It wasn't entirely important, or at least not important to this current mission. Oh, okay. She just talked with this centaur woman. Uh, pretty white hair. Horse body. Uh, <laughs> take uh, whatever that as you will. She seemed upset, but they left on good terms. The woman left, and then she went back to a more dignified look and spoke with you guys. It didn't seem that uh, serious, but it likely was an important topic for them. Uh, but as you go over there, you do see this um, mouse man uh, look towards you and simply states, uh, is there something you need? Um, no, I'm just assessing the situation. Um, do you like living here? It, it's nice enough. Um, the queen helps us with our magic. She lets us use these circles to uh, integrate our own spin to them. Uh, I'm currently working with uh, elemental magic myself, uh, with ele lightning and electricity, and seeing how much energy it will take to turn fire into electricity. Hmm. And what is your... Oh, no, never mind. Uh, okay. That's their name, but you can't tell them our name, right? Uh, you can give a pseudonym or a fake name, but uh, it was also expressed that you shouldn't give out your name so easily. Oh, okay. Uh, okay but but when mind. you say that, Tachanya then looks at you guys and goes, uh, One moment, I currently have to attend to something. Uh, she snaps her fingers and turns into mist and shadow and disappears. <laughs> no. Oh. Hey. Hey. Ah. Yeah, there she goes again. Politics. Uh, anyways. Uh... Oh, I never introduced myself. Uh, the name's Muskrat. Uh, some people just call me Musk. Oh, nice mm -hmm. to meet you, Musk. Uh, if you want to like learn anything, it did sound like your friends wanted to learn like stuff. A... Uh, I can form a contract with you, and you can gain some of my uh, power and knowledge, or uh, I can help you study. But that'll take time. Hmm. I'll think about it. I'm not so sure about forming a contract with anyone here. Oh, that's fair. Um, <laughs> most of the time, the creatures here or the people here are usually um underhanded so if you don't word things properly it will likely bite you uh kind of like the oh, she didn't point towards becky the thing the queen technically gave her <laughs> yeah you just gotta be careful hey thank you sorry if i offended you oh no you're fine <laughs> uh, bye bye uh, he just uh, waves at you and then it continues to amplify the fire in order to create lightning. Uh, a few seconds later, or like a minute or two later, the queen returns uh, in a 
plume of purple smoke awaits Nara. Uh, you guys remember that she stayed at the portal entrance? Oh, uh, yeah. Because she was asleep. Well, we made the excuse that she was asleep. Uh, and now she woke up. You guys left without me? <laughs> really? Um, oh, look, Ray, who, sleeping, who, the sleeping princess is awake. Who is that again? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Someone the king assigned us. Oh, no, anyways, um, Becky, would you just stand r right over here for me? Just, uh, in the over in the, in the in the circle. In what in what circle? Uh, this this circle. Uh, oh, um, can I ask why? This isn't. It's just I wanted to see what you looked like in the light over here. I'm I'm known for being trustworthy. <laughs> I mean, you can you can deception <laughs> check me if you want. Okay. I'm curious. Um, Ray will try healing magic with someone in it that Ray can heal. Here, here. As a last effort, because Ray is at this point very concerned that this trip will be meaningless. We're all Arcana. I'm concerned. What? Ray, Ray, <laughs> Ray. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My toe got burned off. Can you fix it? I can't heal you. You're a vampire. My toe isn't. Just get it over with. Yes! <laughs> That's the first good roll I've ever had! You begin to use your magic, trying to imbue the circle uh, magic uh, straight into it, trying to heal Becky. It circles around, imbues into it, and then forces its way to uh, synthesize a magical component uh, to allow Becky's own body to heal itself. However, as she's not hurt, as she's not in any mortal danger, other than maybe uh, if she was actually hurt, nothing happens. You're not even sure if it worked or not, but it did activate. That's better than anything. Ray will think that's a start and kind of feel like, okay, at least I have a basis to train later. <laughs> Ray, okay. I'm beginning to think that because I don't feel any different that you should probably choose a different profession <laughs> as Ray is given life advice Titania looks towards Nara uh, she then states alright dear it seems that your friends have abandoned you when you entered into this place as your body was likely fatigued due to the travel here that case in point, though, is that they came here to try to stop the impending gate from the other side opening. Why they came to this side, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, she then clasps her hands like a mother. However, I will do my best to try to keep you alive while you're here. That doesn't mean I can't stop your own actions, but I will try to make sure you survive. Ooh. Seems a little suspicious to me. But if we have no choice. Oh, you have several choices. In fact, you can go and speak with my uh, counterpart, the Fey Queen of the Winter Court. However, she is a lot more um, cold than I am. No pun intended there. She can be very <laughs> curse. That you being know said. What? Yes, go on. I'll just, I'll just stick with you then. I'd rather not be on the bad side. Um, she just uh, pats your hand, lets it go, and then goes, Very good. Now then, um, as I mentioned to you, your companions, allies, or whatever they are to you, uh, you apparently are going against someone from the Frost Kingdom. It's a neighboring kingdom to your own mortal domain. Uh, not that far away from where you stand, but it is a distance away. Uh, I'm unfortunately can't tell or verify who specifically they are, but I can tell you that in order for the gate not to open, you have to stop the ritual from happening. There's a few ways to do that. Uh, if you know any binding spells, binding circles to prevent magic from happening, uh, dispel magic as well if you have anything innate to that. 
Otherwise, you can form a contract with some of us and we'll see what we can do. But that might take a life away from you, power away from you, or time away from you, or something in between. Hmm. That being said though, I can get you to the gate without you losing time walking there. And as I mentioned this before, as your friend here, it looks towards Ray, wants to go visit the well, if there's anyone else that wants to form a contract that's binding to the Fey Wild, please let me know. Uh, at that point in time, human man Dan raises his hand. Very good. <laughs> We have one more. And, <laughs> and then she looks to the rest of the group. Uh, I doubt, or at least me personally doubts. Uh, anyone else wants to form a contract? Uh, no, I think it's just Human Man Dan would, uh, said last session that Human Man Dan yeah. was going to make a contract yeah. with Tatiana. Yeah. I think that's the only per other person that was going to make one. I think so. All right then, then please follow me to the gate uh, to north of us, and we will go to the wellspring of life. Nada. I was beginning Doc to think that we'd never leave this place. Need to talk to It'll be very slow, because I have only one toe. <laughs> there uh, I go. Ray, who do you need to speak with? Uh, here I go. <laughs> Talk to... Uh, Nara. Hey, Nara. For a very important reason. So I'll wait until Lauren's back. Who? We don't even know this girl. She doesn't even go here. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd she go? Uh, she... Her internet cut out, so she's switching to the phone. Her phone right oh. now. Yeah. Oh, really? Does that work? Yeah. Depends if you have data. It's Canadian phone. Yeah. Canadian land. Canadian land. And she technically is your. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll have a conversation person. after. Okay. After we travel. Uh, Addy will go with you guys. Dan's coming with us? Yeah. Dan's just pretty Look, quiet I today. Dan's I mean, just blank staring out into the distance <laughs> today. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Alright, I am ready. Okay. Mark, rock. Uh, Nira, can I speak to you for a second before we leave? Nira? Lauren? No, <laughs> sorry! Alright, <laughs> <laughs> I'm you up. So you just arrived. Um, I wanted to fill you in on a few key things. Um, I don't remember it at all, to be honest, because everything's been such a you know, shock. But there are things that you should not do here. One of those is accept gifts from other people or give someone your full name or have them give it to you. Uh, things oh, like shit. this can get you cursed in a literal sense. Okay. Um, much like s the woman with the glasses just did. Uh, it, it may be rewarding, but at the same time, it poses high risks. Uh, Ray, did then, you do something? I would have if Ula would have taken less time. Anyways, uh, the other thing I want to discuss with you, which is of the highest importance, is when we left you, you were with two large talking dogs. Okay. How are they doing? They're doing fine. They're, they're fine. <laughs> okay. They're, they're still pulling out paperwork for the other creatures that are trying to cross the border. <laughs> did, did you get a did you get a pet them? Yes, I did. Did did uh, you? Anyways, let's move on. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is no, he did not. <laughs> In fact, he, they gave him a ticket. 
I know. I literally a ticket. Uh, I still have to pay you that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Moving you guys to the next one. <laughs> Oh, we're out, eh? Oh! <laughs> and Bishop! An Uwu girl! As you make your way to uh, straight, uh, straight <laughs> to the <laughs> Wellspring. Uh, for some reason I had a stumble there. It happens a lot. You will eventually notice it. Uh, Titania moves over through and around the bushes. All right then, uh, Bishop himself will guide you to whatever you desire, seek, so long as he considers you worthy. Uh, his ward, Iris, will also be there. You don't have to speak with her if you don't want to. She just turned of age, roughly around 32. So, uh, he still worries for... <laughs> he still worries Press for that. her. Oh. Wow. Yes, go on. <laughs> Sorry. Ah! See? Sorry, that was me. Oh, okay. I can't figure out how to turn my notifications for text off on my computer. Mm -hmm. Sorry. You managed to get to the well without dying, surprisingly. <laughs> <laughs> Quite literally, you can the go way. through the bushes if you wanted to. Uh, nothing's stopping you, it's just she didn't guide you through the bushes. Uh, they're thick in some sides, oh. uh, not that thick in others. I don't know Human if Man Dan moving. would Human Man Dan would walk right through the bushes. We all know that. Like, just <laughs> through the thick of it, too, and just come out the other side. <laughs> uh, but I Like this? Yes, just <laughs> like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, moving through and barreling through, you can tell that uh, over the course of time, she did mention uh, Bishop will be there to guide you if he deems you worthy. He will uh, help you guys out. Like you don't have to worry about that. If he doesn't, he won't. Uh, his ward, or more or less his daughter. Uh, just turned of age, which is apparently 32. Still worries for her. Is there. You don't have to speak with her if you don't want to. Her name is Iris. Uh, she is technically a cat folk, while Bishop is technically a... Uh, I'm forgetting the name. Seder. Uh, which is basically a another animal person with horns. Uh, Tatiana moves forwards and then states... Bishop, it seems here that these individuals would like to speak with you. Hmm, more people. Can, uh... Are they alright? They're as alright as I can expressly state mortals to be. So not very, not very, no. But they will try to negotiate with you. So do keep that in mind. Alright, um... Those that seek guidance... Please step forwards. Uh, he then like puts two hands on Iris's shoulders and like moves her back. Uh, Dad, you know I can move, right? Yes, I'm just making sure that they don't try to uh, hurt you in any way. Iris herself is roughly around three feet tall, so quite literally, <laughs> she's pretty short. All right. I'm just gonna say real quick, as I look at Ray, don't even think about petting her. Just don't. Just don't. We're not gonna try that here. You make it <laughs> yeah, Exactly. Devon and typing Neil's down at all. <laughs> <laughs> do not do it. <laughs> uh, anyways, Becky's just looking at her. Uh, um, <laughs> um, Bishop. Nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> the daughter. She just looks at you strangely. Uh, one of her ears waggles. Uh, but, Ray, uh, you state to Bishop. Uh, I heard that you are proficient in 
Medicine. I have to be in order to make sure that my daughter survives. Again, I'm fine. I can heal myself. I, I can't heal well, but better than most. And thankfully enough, wild magic doesn't surge when I cast magic. Still, I want to make sure you're safe. I'm fine, Dad. Anyways, this man wants to talk with you about something. Right, right, right. Ugh. Uh, then looks at Tatiana. Uh, she nods, and then he states, All right, then. You want to learn about medicine. Is there something specific yes. you want to learn? I would like to learn from your daughter. <laughs> Ray is so suspicious about the way Tatiana has been talking. And ain't a gonna be about that. Okay. Uh, and thinks that Ray can get away with more with Iris than Bishop. Uh, did you say roll persuasion? Persuasion, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, you're trying I'm so to, good! <laughs> you're trying to get an overprotective dad to let you uh, speak with their daughter. You're a stranger. He doesn't know you. Wow, she, yeah, she is 32. Doesn't trust you. Uh-uh. <laughs> So That's he looks towards you, eyes squinting. Do you want to try that again? Is it that you did not train her properly? I don't know what would roll a diss mean. Uh, <laughs> roll intimidation? <laughs> Still not that great. He just looks at you. Even more cursed than he was before, not only did you technically uh, badmouth his daughter for not being trained well, also badmouth him for not training her well. Uh, he just looks at you and then simply states, Right then, it seems to me that you need proper guidance, proper training, and making sure that what you do to others is what you want. He All this time, uh, Reyes keeps glancing at Iris. Uh, she's just laughing. Like, like she's not oh, verbally yeah. laughing out loud. Well, but she has a uh, oh, yes. hand to her mouth. Uh, Ray right now is trying to, you know, knows that Bishop's an overprotective dad. And thinks, you know, the, the type of glance that's like, hey, I see you. I think you can train me. And so just bad mapping the dad to kind of like get Iris on my side a little bit. <laughs> right now she's just kind of laughing at you. Okay, uh, good. Roll persuasion. Uh, see how well you're bumbling. Uh, not uh, <laughs> persuade her, but more like it could be endearing. Like nudges. Like, you could be uh, that one weirdo that is uh, nicer friendlier, but doesn't know how to speak to people. I'm gonna have a bad roll. We all know this. I have a plus four, and I've, I'm gonna guess eight. Uh, it feels 17 is gonna be your roll. Oh, that's pretty close. Yeah. I, di I did it. I did it. I did it, guys. I don't think you're doing good. I mean, you're like... I'm not, just, you're I've never good. really <laughs> trying. This is my second roll over 15 yeah, in but you, anything I mean, we've done. I mean, it took you three fucking rolls. You've been trying! I know! You went through your whole character sheet. It's been five sessions! <laughs> to get over 15! Okay, anyways. Bishop seems to go and get something from his bag that's right to his side. Uh, unfurls it out. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Becky, you can immediately tell that this uh, book that Bishop's getting out for Ray, maybe, is completely cursed. It's... Uh, It'll curse bind him into allowing his spells, more than likely, to do the exact opposite of what he wants to do. Ooh. I'm. And is this coming from? I ain't Bishop? saying anything. <laughs> well, here's the thing. This is coming from Bishop, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ray. Ray is not trusting Tatiana or Bishop right now. Ray wants, if anything happens, would only accept stuff from Iris. Mm -hmm. uh, so. so he, uh, he goes to hand it to you, saying, This will likely get you what you deserve. And with that moment in time, and with your uh, persuasion roll of 18, Iris, like, grabs onto the book, puts it back into Bishop's bag, and... 
looks straight towards Nira, wondering why people keep doing this to her, but uh, looks back at Ray, uh, but says this to her dad. Yeah, dad, stop cursing people when they make fun of me. It, you, you remember the last boy that you cursed? Yes, I turned him into a toad and made sure that he turned into delicious soup. Yeah, people stop talking to me after that. Yes, that's right. Well, they should. They should know that provoking me leads to consequences. Yeah, this is why people stop talking to you. What's your point? Okay. Uh, what's your name, kid? Saying this to you, Ray. Oh. You can give me a pseudonym. I don't care. You can call oh, yourself. I forgot um, what I call. Susan. Oh. No, or, I remember. Uh, Mary oh, Jane. Yes, my name Thomas? is Thomas. Banana, great! That's a fruit. Anyways. <laughs> that's, what, that's what Ray said the very first person Ray talked to. Yeah. Uh, so just, just stick with it. <laughs> they believed you, she did not. Uh, right. Banana. I'm just gonna call you Ban. It's better. <laughs> uh, Ban. If you want, I can teach you, train you, but I'm assuming based on Titiana's wording, you're not gonna be here for a while. I can go with you guys if you want since it doesn't seem that you'll be here for a while unless your plane of existence you know is slower than ours so training here will only take a few months yes but in your world a couple seconds uh do you know the material plane its name that you hail from what is the People Name. world. People. <laughs> no, we would know because it would be like the equivalent of Earth. So it would be like knowledge that our characters would know, right? You would know the planet's name or at least the uh, equivalent to that. Uh, it's called Mundo. Quite literally Spanish word for world. Uh, oh. But the plane of existence is a completely different story. The world oh. itself you would know. Uh, but it's like explaining, hey, what galaxy are we in? Uh, to a fourth grader. Yes. Uh, so Tatiana, you, you basically you... give the name. Okay. Of Say with no. Okay. Of the world. Uh, Iris and States. Uh, based off of that, you could be in roughly around 82 different planes. Uh, Tatiana, do you mind giving me their name? I suppose. But what would I get in return? Uh, probably my dad not harassing people the next time you bring them. That seems more than fair. I do not agree to that. I don't care what you agree to, Dad. Stop turning people into toads. No. Yeah. <laughs> this is why no one accepts the stuff you make. Uh, Aris then looks towards her. Uh, uh, Tatiana moves over, uh, hands out a piece of paper. She writes a little note on it, uh, hands it over to Iris. Iris looks at it uh, with a small flick of her wrist. You can tell that a small blue flame jettisons from one tip of the paper in a split second finishes burning the rest of the paper and then it comes over. All right, I got the plan of existence you have, the world you're in. Bad news. The amount of time that your world exists in ours, roughly around the same unless someone here expediates that or slows it down. No one has, I'm assuming. So right now, you're wasting as much time here as you are in your own world. Hmm. So we roughly have 24 hours to be able to close the gate, if I remember correctly. Uh, even last time mm -hmm. that, around it was six hours. Oh, really? I thought they said they would take a shift in the next morning. Your shift yeah. was basically uh, 10 hours from the point in time before you entered inside. You oh, entered okay. inside and took like roughly two hours to get to this location. So it'd be around uh, eight hours. You spoke, conversed, traveled from other different locations, yeah. waited until Dan and Becky could be found again. <laughs> uh, which likely ate up another two hours. Uh, so now you have six hours until your technical shift uh, would start. That doesn't mean that uh, they won't be close to the point in time where the gate would open. But uh, another express thing is that they were also waiting for another team. Meaning the longer you stay here, the more likely that other team would show up. 
So oh, yeah. while the portal wouldn't be completely open, more enemies would be there. Um, yeah, we need to address that gate. And so, because I of that rain. Is there any study material or anything that I could read upon um, in your knowledge of medicine? It, I know we only have a short period of time here to, you know, stop an entire gate from opening in your uh, the monsters of this realm roaming ours. Um, but if there is something that I can take with me to be able to study as I go to help those around me. I I did say I can go with you guys, but if you want a book, that's fine. Uh, oh, Dad, let me see your bag. Uh, no. And he, she just oh, grabbed it anyways. I, I want Iris to come with us, so Ray would be like... Oh, I, I thought you meant stay with us in this realm only. It, it all depended on how much time you had. It's roughly around the same, so it'd be easier for me to go with you. In that case, I would love if you joined us. Great. Uh, she immediately, like, just drops his bag that she kind of took. Uh, he then states, hey, uh, nope, no buts, no ifs and or coconuts. What's a coconut? Dad, we expressed this beforehand. I don't care for your jokes. Anyways, <laughs> mom said as soon as I turn 32, I am fine to leave and express the world. Um, yes, but you never got my permission. Don't need it. You're two separated people. I'm technically an adult now. I'm leaving this domain. Don't you worry about your... Don't no. worry. Don't worry anyway. about your daughter. I'll take care of her. I don't like the way you said that. Yeah, Dad, me either. Ray, Ray will step <laughs> over next to Micah and just be like... Um, phrasing. I'd like to intimidate. Oh my god. Bishop. <laughs> It'll be hard, especially how Ray uh, has been doing. <laughs> well, never mind. <laughs> You're trying to intimidate an overprotective father, so it yeah. works as oh. well as uh -oh. we expected. Yeah. Uh, so when you try to intimidate him, you're just looking at him. You think you're doing like wild, crazy eyes, uh, but everyone else can see they're uh, accidentally got watery, so it looks more sympathetic than anything else. Uh, you see him go into his bag, pull out what seems to be a nice fluffy uh, sweater, and then like puts it over you. You seem cold, dear. Well, it is. I don't like sweaters. Expressly warm. Uh, too warm for this quite literal hot environment. You don't know why he has a sweater. Probably well, just I... in case. Okay. Since I overheard the whole gifts thing earlier, I throw that on the ground and step yeah. on it. Yeah, <laughs> you throw like, it on the ground, shame, step I kind on of it. Step back. And then he goes, well, you didn't have to do that. Dad, remember, we're part of the Fey Wild. Giving express gifts curses people. Well, you never know. A sweater could help them. Yeah, it could probably kill them too well would that be a bad thing yes she then sighs heavily <sighs> all right uh give me like 10 minutes i'm gonna go get my things is cat girl joining us <laughs> cat girl <laughs> she just shouts out in the difference in the distance name's iris is Cat Girl Iris joining us? Yes, Iris will be joining us in the Good, distance. Wanted, a little bit better. I've always wanted a mascot. You look at Dan. <laughs> I think she smells really good. I'm getting quite hungry. Oh, that doesn't God. sound right, though. Please, <laughs> phrasing, Micah, phrasing. After ten minutes, she just comes back with uh, basically adventuring gear. Oh, cool. Alright, got my things. Uh, Tatiana, you've been great. Dad, you've been a... No wonder you guys got divorced. <laughs> well, differences, different circumstances. Dad, the last time you let mom hang out with people, you turned her male friends into toads. 
Yeah, it's, it's kind of my thing. Stop doing that, and maybe people will like you. Why would I want people to like me? Yeah, see? Why do you think they made you the guardian of the well? No one comes here unless they're expressly wanting to get cursed. <coughs> she then sighs, looks at you guys. Sorry, it's kind of tough. I can see. It's okay, we are much more lax, for better or worse. Alright, uh, Tatiana, do you mind, us, mind telling for us to the gate? That shouldn't be an issue, dear. I did expressly state that I can do that for them, as I would rather not have them waste any more time than they have. Alright, uh, Don't worry, thanks. Tatiana. We will keep your cat safe. Oh, um... Uh, never mind, we shall go. Uh, human man, Dan? Did you... uh, uh, will we be back? Uh, human man, Dan, then states. Uh, in, in his own way, but I'm just going to say it the way I would say it. Um, I need to go and oh. speak with Bishop alone. I'll catch up. Okay. Let's move swords. Sure. Let's go. Uh, Frey just goes through a bush. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Alright, uh, Jana then states, Alright, follow me. Let's get you to a better clearing, and then it'll teleport you all there. Now then. Getting there won't be an issue, you'll just simply be teleported there. Uh, depending on how long your own companions there's conversation will be, it might be a while until you see him again. If he does decide to form a contract with any of us, or learn from us, he'll likely be spending some time here. As Iris mentioned, the express time from your own domain in hours is roughly around the same, so, it all really depends on how quick he is at learning. But I'm sure you understand how long that would take. After all, you have been with them for quite some time. I'm assuming. He's a, he's a very slow learner. <laughs> About six weeks. Uh, then it might take him a while. But that should be an issue so long as you make sure you don't die. Depending on what you do. When we do fight somebody. <laughs> uh, Tatiana then states, Alright then, about to teleport you guys. I am going there myself, just simply to see how the lawyers are doing. And the quick uh, wave of her hands, a cloudy purple mist roams around the rest of your bodies, and it begins to dissipate it into nothing. <laughs> Thinking that you might die, some of you might panic, others might not. Uh, but eventually, you do get to the place you are meant to go. I just want to point out, Ray is going to actively stay between Micah and Iris. How do I erase that? Because <laughs> Micah be acting strange. <laughs> Again, no. <laughs> Right, like <laughs> Ray going to protect this cute little three foot person. Come on, Alyssa. You could come with us. You're not quite dead yet. Foreshadowing. <laughs> Wait. Wow, well, this looks like a acid trip over here. It, Before it really does. Do you have any sweethearts back home? Who are you saying this to? Alyssa! <laughs> no, oh oh do you have any pictures of sweethearts back home you'd like to speak to about before we go through this gate? No. Maybe <laughs> two days from you've always retirement. To do. <laughs> You're two days before your pension and retirement. 
Anything you wanted to talk about Why? before we stepped in this gate? <laughs> Why are you asking me this, Ray? Uh, no reason. Let's go through the gate. <laughs> uh, you see, uh, Tatiana is currently speaking with the dogs. But other than <gasps> that, uh, Ali then looks towards you guys. All right, then. It seems that my job is completed upon your return. Please fill out any forms you have to do and make sure you pay any fines that you have contributed and or c accumulated. Uh, yes. Um, yes. H hello, Doggo. Um, I have an inquiry for you. It speaks in a language you do not understand. Remember, Ali uh, was the entire point yeah, of how you understood uh, them. Where are you? Tatiana. Ali! Um, uh, can I help you with something? I need you to translate something um, to these these dogs here. I suppose I can. I just wanted to inquire how much a fine would be for, I don't know, hugging something with maybe out without consent or something of that nature. Uh, she begins to speak with the hounds. Iris just looks at you wondering what that means. Uh, but to Jenna then, uh, after a conversation, she looks towards you. Ah, it seems here you carry and unsheath the weapon. Mm. That would roughly range around 25 gold due to potential threat and harm against you or another. Uh, however, the inquiry that you have mentioned, uh, without consent or the like, it will be another fine of 25 gold. Ah, it's all my gold. Ray will internally squint, hand over 25 gold. And walk towards the gate. <laughs> the dog picks up this blade uh, and then walks it towards you and just puts it next to you. Take it. I'll sell it later on. Gosh. It's your weapon. Uh, this is not accepting a gift. This is just yeah, picking up yeah. the trash you left. <laughs> Long sword. Added to my bag. <laughs> because Ray was gonna just toss the money at Tatiana and then hug the dogs. He just tossed it to her. But it was gonna be all my money since it's like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, Iris okay. just looks at you. Um, You know, you can ask. You don't have to do things illegally. It's fine. We, we have things we need to accomplish right now. Uh, sure. Uh, she looks towards the hound to the south, begins to speak with it. The dog nods, and she just gives it a hug, uh, pats it on the head, and just gets to the portal. Yeah, let's oh, she see. just jumped right in there. Uh, is anyone else going through the portal? I don't know. I'm going to wait for everyone else. I don't want to be the first one through again. Mm -hmm. Alright, All right. Uh, since you're the last one, you can tell Tatiana is basically doing paperwork, making sure that everything's covered and clear. Uh, the animals, creatures, plants in the background uh, seem have to be filling out their uh, more or less passports uh, information correctly. So and as soon as that information is filled and filed, the next wave can go through. Which is likely why it, uh, the entire world, or at least the area you're in, isn't filled with all these monsters and creatures because of bureaucracy. <laughs> Before I go, I do turn to Tatiana and um, I say, just know if you ever need anyone killed or to disappear, I'll do it for money. And then I jump in. Okay. Uh, and I'm assuming based on everyone else, they will jump in in turn. Hold on, cat girl. Uh, yes. Again, the name's Iris. Okay, cat girl. <laughs> She's just waiting for you to <laughs> respond. <laughs> to say something. But, oh. Becky, were you gonna say something? You kinda just stopped there, dear. Oh, I just said, okay, cat girl. I'm just talking to the cat. Um, Did she okay. eat your plant? Did she eat your plant? Oh, she's just... She's just a... 
cat. I just like the new mask. <laughs> well, <laughs> eventually the team does get through. Uh, in tow, you can tell that uh, once you go through, the strange warping of getting through that small crevice happens again, and you enter into the barrier once more. Uh, I think one of you lost your magic circles. I just don't. <gasps> remember. What? Our magic you circle burnt my shield. Dan. I remember. No, Dan gave me the shield with the magic circle, and then you guys burnt my magic circle to a crisp. Oh, so it was me. I didn't have my magic circle, I, and I'm I... back down to 18 AC. You specifically <laughs> oh, wonderful. feel a rendering of waves and uh, energy crossing around the area you're currently at. Everyone else basically just rushes through before they get hurt. Ray, go ahead and roll me a dexterity saving throw. God damn it, I was going to come out lying and everything. Oh, dexterity saving throw? Guys, this, um... <laughs> Oof, I haven't had a negative one and my rolls good. are great, so... It's been nice. Oh, well, I mean... Still not above a 15, but, you know... Uh, no, it's not your worst. Trying to get through these weird wind current systems... You remember Dan going in there and then just basically being flung out? Uh, in turn, you also get flung out for five points of damage as you just get tossed out and land like five feet away from Nara. Ah, oh, dang it. I was hoping I was going to land into like this person's arms. Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, you land uh, right uh. before you hit the Thank ground, you. they just grab onto you. Uh, sure. Then just put you on the ground. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, Swine then looks towards your team. Well, now it seems that you made it back. However, you did poorly in unraveling the spell on that side. And it seems you brought another denizen from that side. Yes. You are um, awful at your jobs. No, no, listen to me. In just pain that Ray did not expect to be in. <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on, I need to... Oh, Lord, oh, man. Just a Please. second. I, I had something for this. <sighs> so, uh, that's not the Feywild on the other side. We're opening the wrong gate. <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you want to explain the Feywild creatures that have been popping out this entire time? As well it's as the location show. here that has been highly secretive and the people we killed interrogated to make sure that this is the right place? Yes. All yes. lied? It's, it's not a lie. It's just not the Feywild. It's a different realm. One they've kept secret. Yes, I mean, he's telling the truth there. Um, as you can see, it's not Faye over there, but cat girls. So, I mean, unless you want a lot of cat girls coming out here, you should probably stop. Oh, that sounds wonderful. And now, are they actual cats that are female or people cat things? They are all female cats. Oh, I love cats. They're delicious. Let's continue to open this portal. Iris, in the meantime, in the background, just puts her hand upon your back. Uh, you heal five hit points. You are the literal best. Anyways, you know, I tried. I tried my best. It's up to you guys. Do do do, do you? Tim is still in the background, <laughs> just watching you guys. Ray Ray has tried everything Ray can think of to, you know. Wait, did you say five hit points? Uh, yeah, you're basically full again. Okay. Oh, he's... So he's so, full. Yeah. Ray, Ray ah. has tried everything to not get these guys killed. And Ray is so fed up with dealing with Tatiana that Ray's just like, just, just do what you need to do. <laughs> just... I'd like to um, inspect this guy. Uh, sure, go His, ahead. His, like, we'll... power. Uh... I think I did before, but I forgot. I think so. Uh, go ahead and roll Insight. Uh, also, uh, Nara and technically Alyssa, but I don't know if she's back. Uh, you guys get hit with the rock as 
uh, Tim's just basically throwing stuff at you to notice him. Oh, <laughs> oh Tim is down there. What about Tim? He's suddenly hiding, so which is why he's throwing stuff at you guys. It well, doesn't hurt. It's just annoying. Yeah. Uh, While well, <laughs> everyone else is talking to the the, the giblin, um, Ray will just you know. So fed up, not even really being stealthy, just knows that no one's paying attention to Ray. Just, you know, just wanders over. As you wander over, he throws a rock at you to notice his location. Like, uh, I don't <sighs> suppose your past perception is fifteen. <laughs> nah, it's it's twelve. Okay, uh, so yeah, he just throws a rock at you. Uh, you notice him. Uh, you come over. Uh, in the meantime, however, uh, Becky, you can tell that this person is more or less uh, trained. He's trained well with his platoon on by his side. He could probably, uh, on a even playing field, it'd be pretty tough, but not impossible to take him down. His main focus is arcane circles, uh, which is likely why he's been brought to dispel this uh, door. That being said, though, because his focus is mainly in circles and magic, uh, you could probably force your way through uh, just basically kicking his butt and doing that. The best way likely to take him down would be by surprise, maybe getting him distracted somehow. But overall, they're roughly on par with you guys, but you technically don't know what Iris can do. And you've also lost Dan. So it's kind of hard to tell specifically if you're stronger or weaker than him. But he's smaller than you. But he seems quicker. Oh, okay. Hmm. Tim, let's go. We're gonna go fight. Um, yeah, I've already con well sent word out for the king since you've been gone for a couple of hours? It's a long story and uh, it's just Let's let's go fight. Let's get this over with. No one no one's stopping. So I guess I guess this is what we're doing. Well, we better do it before you know the ritual happens or the king it's comes. Just him. That's why I'm saying, come, let's go. No, come. you don't understand. We're likely precedent to creating a war due to the other side. You know what? Politics. It's, let's it's, just say politics is about to yes, ruin us all. That's not. That is not my area. Let's just stop this and get this done, and we'll think about that later. <sighs> Alright. Uh, okay, then get the attack. See him go into the computer. I was like, computer. In, like, it was still going to be a surprise attack, because the way Ray is doing this is literally just like, okay, just attack. Just like, out of the blue. <laughs> just so fed up. Uh, <laughs> roll charisma. Like, uh, you just, uh, look at the charisma score you have and add that bonus to a d20. You can also just click charisma on your character sheet and it'll do the same thing. I'm never going to pass a roll. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> just assume I fail and let's move on. Uh, Becky, you were told to attack. If you decide to attack, you can. Uh, when you're going pss, 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 um, at Iris, she just looks at you. Iris. I, I need you over here for a second. It's for something extremely important. Okay. Um, what's this guy's name again? I'm on it. Swine. 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 Look at this cat girl. Come here. Jump in my arms. Jump in my arms. Psst, psst, psst. Oh. <laughs> psst, psst, psst. Uh, right? She jumps in your arms. Thank you. Pretty cute, huh, swine? Not really. Again, eat cats. Don't care for cat people. Oh, okay. Becky throws cat girl at swine. Uh, okay, <laughs> this is the start of combat. So. Yes. <laughs> uh, everyone um... roll uh, initiative. In order to do that, you go to your char You first click on your token. Uh, go to your character sheet. Uh, in between armor class and speed is initiative. You click on the word, and it'll put you in the board. Perfect. 
<laughs> just, I'm going to get some water. I just, I will be back. <laughs> right. Okay. I tapped on me. Mm-hmm. Where is initiative again? Right between mm -hmm. armor class and speed. Oh, I see it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Still trying to figure out how to do it. Oh, did mine not work? Uh, uh, I don't want to roll again. <laughs> uh, what was your number? 22. Uh, I could probably <laughs> manually do it for you. Yeah, I got it. Okay, walk me through how to do it. Perfect. Okay, right. here's my person, and uh, I... You click on your person, make sure you have, uh, like, you clicked on it. Yeah. You go to your character sheet. And then click on initiative. Yes. Nope. Nothing's happening. Uh, I'll just do it for you, it's fine. <laughs> I'm a one. Uh, okay. six. No, I'm a six? That's what mine says. My initiative said one. Oh, yeah, that's a plus one to your initiative. I rolled oh, okay. for you, but I rolled a six. I see. I see. I don't know why it doesn't let you Micah do it, though. knows how to Wait. fight is the strongest. Should I have hit the roll dice thing? <laughs> then my picture? What do you mean your uh, picture? What? You you go initiative is right above current hit points on your sheet. You click your name Stacy M and then you Oh, the down there. Yeah. There. Next to your picture. Oh wait, next to my picture. But you, you, you were already rolled for, so I understand. Just I was just that. trying to learn how to do this. But aren't you the strongest? Fighter. I thought I was, but obviously. <laughs> but she's <is> forgotten. <laughs> yes! Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Thank you. Who are we waiting on? Uh, Ray to come back with a drink. Oh, I'm, I'm here. I've, I'm just sitting in the corner now, you know? <laughs> okay. Just be like okay. that. <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, do, do, do. uh, Becky, you're up first. Uh, surprisingly enough, you rolled well. Uh, do you actually want to throw Iris at him? Yeah, I, I toss, well, I toss her as a distraction. I toss Iris onto the face of swine so it like latches on like a cat. Please do not kill Iris. I love Iris. <laughs> and then, <laughs> of course, during that, I swing at, <laughs> oh shit, but I swing at the legs. So, like, it's right. like one motion I, and swing at the legs of swine. With your hands, you make, uh, throw her straight towards swine. Uh, completely surprised and caught off guard by that. Uh, she latches like a cat onto the surface that she can, which basically would be swine's face. Uh, boots him in the head, gra uh, kind of claws into his face, and then just jumps out of the way. Uh, Becky, in the meantime, would have advantage due to that strike. But uh, what that means is we roll two dice, which you already have, and we go with the highest one, which is 14. 14 is just enough to hit him. So go ahead and roll okay. your longsword damage. Oh, longsword damage? Have I forgotten how to do this? Uh, so, um, you, you know where it ooh. says the 14 and the 11? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's been you, so long since yeah, we've fought. You click on the name. Well, it's Did been it. like two weeks, so it's yeah. fair. <laughs> uh, Becky, awesome. you mentioned no, it's, been, it's been three weeks. Uh, yeah, technically, because I don't think you fought the last session. We haven't yeah. fought like at all. <laughs> you fought a couple times, but uh, not like this. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you grab your longsword and swing straight into the person. You slash in, and you can tell you did a lot of damage, but not enough to kill him. Uh, looking at you, he does then state. Oh, I knew you guys were awful and evil. Clearly, you must die. 
Okay, bring it. Ray, I've been itching for a fight for three weeks. I mean, if you Ray like... will look over and just be like, I gave you so many opportunities. Oh, and you're the worst of them. You're like, uh, <laughs> what's it called? When you say something but don't mean it? A hypocrite. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, go on. I will go on. As he brings up what it looks like a very large knife. It's technically a dagger, uh, but he goes straight towards Becky uh, for the attack. Do it. Bring it. Try. Good luck. Uh, this 15 hit. Ooh. Oh, yes. Well, I have... What is my armor? If your yeah. armor is 15, that does mean it hits. If it... Go, if well, he rolls lower than that, it's fifteen. Well, did you increase by one? Yeah, it's fifteen. Okay. Then you okay. Do. Uh, so he takes out his dagger and swings straight towards you. Uh, he does only one point of damage. Eat you thankfully. in the toe. Uh, slashing in, you take some damage, but not enough to kill you or outright completely hurt you. However, it is his goon squad to go next. Uh. The circle does need to be guarded at least by one of them, so not everyone will attack you. Um, the one closest to Micah will attack, and the one closest to Ray will attack. Uh, with Micah, they roll and see if they hit. Uh, Micah, does 15 hit you? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Is your armor class 15? No, it, it doesn't. Yeah, uh, no. Um, Micah has an insane in order armor to class. Cheese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, if you are not... You go to your character sheet, look at... I'm going. Her, yeah? Uh, where it is a small shield that says armor class. 18. That number. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. <laughs> okay. their blade, they swing towards you, but your armor is too strong and too sturdy. The one next to Ray goes for her attack again. Well, not again. The first time. Doesn't matter. Uh, does 18 meets, hit you? Meets, right? Uh, if it meets, it beats. Yeah, then you hit me. All right. That one will also go for an attack uh, damage. I don't know why. Oh, they also rolled a one. So you didn't take that much damage. But it's a good thing hey. Iris healed you or you'd be very hurt. That's true. Uh, Iris, in the meantime, doesn't like how this is going. We'll move towards Micah since... They may... No, actually, roughly around everyone's about the same. Uh, looking towards Micah, they seem the most hurt, or the most hurt for the longest time. Uh, they will heal you for... Well, actually, they don't know how much damage you took. Uh, so they'll heal you for two, but you only need to add an additional one to your health. Ray, Ray... Ray! This cat girl is better than you! <sighs> This I is... know, that's why I brought her along. <laughs> Alright, uh... <laughs> Micah, do you remember how to increase your health? No. You go into your care sheet, I'm and there. it says current hit points. The one underneath that armor class one? Oh, ten. Uh, where uh, it says ten? Hit points maximum no, is eleven. Current hit points. Is ten. Yeah, uh, you hover over that, and it should give you an up and down button. You yeah. Click the up button. Up? Yes. Yep. Uh, okay, that you sounds like. Heal by one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. And that's how you, uh, when you heal, that's how you do it. Okay. And when you get hurt, you push the down button. So shouldn't I have gone down? No, one, they healed you. Oh, they healed me. Okay. Yeah, Iris. Iris healed, healed you. Them. Yeah. Okay. Iris is, is best. All right. Uh. No. Um, I'm going to move uh, in front of Tim, and I'm going to take out my bow and aim it at the guy. Um, and I will attack. Uh, do I have to roll for? Do I have to click light crossbow? Yes. Okay. If that's what you're using. Just, yes. Okay, uh, in your character. Oh, there we go. Okay. Probably should have expressed where. Because <laughs> it <laughs> yeah. could be in several different places on your character sheet. 
Uh, which one are you attacking? Uh, the one by Ray or a swine? Uh, the one right by Ray. The one by Ray you hit. Uh, so, where it says 13 and 13, the mm -hmm. name like crossbow, you click on it. All right. Immediately you grab your light crossbow, looking that Ray is about to be attacked or was just hurt by a more or less flimsy blade. You look straight towards uh, him, look straight towards the enemy right next to him, and you proc a shot. Immediately, as soon as that happens, the man seems to be distracted. Uh, like a gangster in a 90s movie or 90s cartoon, they're just throwing their knife to the left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. Flip it around, uh, uh, and while they're doing that, you shoot an arrow straight through their neck, and they hit the ground dead. Oh wow! Wow! Ray will put <laughs> face palm and just be like, "God damn it, not again!" <laughs> now, uh, anything else? I uh, know that is everything. All right, Micah. Okay. Uh, I want to hit again. Okay. I'm gonna go with. Can I use my claws? Yeah, you have an action, a bonus action, and movement. Uh, with okay. your action, you can use your claws. Okay, so I have to roll an action. No, you just attack. Like, okay. whatever attack you choose. That is considered your action. Okay. I'm attacking okay. again. The guy next to me. Mm -hmm. How do I do that again? Uh, you go to your character sheet? Yeah, I pulled it up, but it's not coming. Uh... Down below where it says oh, oh. claws. I got it. I found it again. Okay. Okay. When it goes okay. red, you just click on it. Okay. Got it. Okay. Uh, the number is 17, so you easily hit. Uh, where it says 17 and 23, claws the name weapons. claws. Uh, hover yes. your mouse over that, and when it goes red, you click on it. In the chat. In the chat. The claws in the chat. I'm in the chat. Hold yeah. on. Do you see the word claws? Yes. Claws plus four. It. Got it. Okay. Uh, with your claws, you go straight for an attack. Uh, straight for... Uh, you're a vampire. You go for the neck, the arteries, anywhere you can hit. So you go... <laughs> yeah, no problem. Uh, you go straight for the neck, render it through, and you do do a, lot of amount of, a good amount of damage. Not enough to kill them. But you can tell that they're about to die. Okay. Good. Anything else? Mm. You have a bonus action and movement. I'll do a bonus action. All right. Uh, bonus action can vary depending on your class. I think you have a bonus action that uh, allows you to heal people. It's called Lay on Hands, since you are a paladin, technically. Okay. <laughs> but I don't want to heal him. Uh, then you don't you don't have to do a bonus action if you don't want to. Uh, a okay. bonus action can also be uh, drinking a potion, uh, dropping a weapon, handing someone else a weapon. Okay, I'm not going to do one then. Okay. I can't attack him a second time. Only just the once. You are able to attack uh, eventually again, but you'll have to level up. Yeah. Okay. Right now, we're still level one. Yeah. Uh, speaking of level one, that transition didn't make sense, but I felt to use it. Uh, Lisa. <laughs> okay, so it seems like the others are being taken care of, so I'm going to take out my crossbow and aim it at Swine. All right. <gasps> swine is mine. <laughs> no. <laughs> you made a rhyme. Join the club of rolls. Oh man! Ew, what? Oh no! You do it again. Uh, so, unfortunately, not since you missed. 
no. uh, if you miss, you don't have to click on the name. Oh, okay. So, uh, taking out your crossbow, you look and point straight towards Swine, and then you shoot it. Immediately after, uh, Becky, you can sense that something is about to attack Swine, but Swine's yours. So you bring out your hand, grab it without actually looking at whatever was mm -hmm. attacking straight towards you, break it in half, and you just drop it on the ground. <laughs> Good. Unfortunately, you missed. Uh, that, was, <laughs> that was two nat ones. That's impressive. That's worse than mine. Uh, Alyssa, if you have a bonus action, you can use it, uh, or you can move as well. Uh, how do I know if I have a bonus action? Uh, certain spells say uh, you can cast something as a bonus action. Like, m many cantrips say that. Uh, if you look in your character sheet and it says uh, a bonus action is required to use this feat, skill, or the like, is how you can tell. It's usually in your feats and traits where that box is. Mm, I don't... Oh, okay. Um... No, I don't think I have one. Okay. Uh, uh, sorry, if your character sheet moved, that was me looking at it. Oh, okay, sorry. It's fine. Uh, sometimes that freaks people out, especially if they don't know the program. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ray. Uh, okay, immediately uh, will needlessly, because... Man, that arrow really got this person. <laughs> uh, do uh, spare the dying. All right. And then hope that the person gets stabilized and then move in between this person and the rest of the group. Uh, luckily enough, uh, Nara did enough damage to kill them, but not enough that they immediately just die and nothing uh, Hell could yeah. help them. So Finally saved someone. You saved someone. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Well, they'd still be unconscious though, right? Yeah, they're unconscious. Yeah. Uh, they're not going to attack, uh, hit you, Leave or witnesses. do anything else. But, you know, they're alive. Yeah. <laughs> that I'll makes Ray a little bit happier. <laughs> so, <laughs> hell yeah. Ray will then, with a little bit, being a little bit more upbeat. Excuse me. I think it's best if you run. It's not worth dying over a stupid gate and orders that you were given. I was also given a lot of money. Well, if you have the money, then you already have it, so just take it. Go ahead and roll Persuasion. Fifteen. It will never happen. Right. I'll make this a contested <laughs> one. Uh... Let's see here. He was Let's paid see, a lot. That Matt 20. But he already has the money, so I'll bring his bonus down by one. Does he have the money on him? <laughs> I never. Okay, then go ahead and hit me. <laughs> I would, but it's not my turn yet. <laughs> Whoa, wait, hold on. Tim got a point five initiative? Uh, no, I just forgot to roll for him, so I just didn't roll last. But you rolled a one, I was about to be so like, I had to that is an five. impressive. Now, uh, if I forget to roll for someone, I usually put them yeah. last, but unfortunately someone rolled a one, so I couldn't just pick yeah. one. <laughs> so I went with point five. <laughs> so, uh, Tim seeing the situation at hand, looking at you guys, they rush over here. Uh, wanting to take the credit of someone dying, uh, Green brings out what appears to be a long sword and goes straight for the attack <laughs> against Micah's own enemy. Uh, for a split second, you swear Swine might have been attacked again, but thankfully enough, Becky, you don't have to block another attack yeah. for an enemy. <laughs> uh, it is enough to hit this person, and let's see how well they do. Oh, they rolled really well. Uh, with a quick movement straight towards this creature, or person, or whatever they are, you never remove the hood, so you don't know. They slash through the abdomen, and this person just completely goes down to the ground, bleeding out. If they don't get helped, uh, Ray, unfortunately, you will not be able to save that person. 
If you take your time. Maybe. Maybe. Back. Oh, okay. So I, um... Prepare to swing at swine again. All right. The same two-handed. Uh, oh, no. Grabbing your blade, you swing straight for them, but unfortunately, he's quick. He's nimble. He might not be strong, but he's agile. So you hit the ground right next to him when he simply pirouettes to the side. He looks towards you and goes, Ha! Well, you're pretty good. Making sure to throw bodies at me. Making sure to sacrifice your people. I like that. I respect that. But unfortunately, you did not hit. You probably need a plus two more to actually hit me. But we'll see you next time. Uh, is there any reason why Mike is attacking? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, was I was preparing for my next move. Oh, uh, sorry. Well, you, you don't sorry. do that. It's fine. Sorry. I... Uh, Misclicking happens all the time. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but you would have hit. I will tell you that. But unfortunately, since it's not your turn, it doesn't matter. Doesn't count. <laughs> Becky, anything else? Um, no, I'm just going to stand my ground. Okay. I don't, yeah. Uh, since you stand your ground, he will attack you, the biggest, and him considering the strongest person. Yep. <laughs> 20 probably hits you. Yeah, that's probably. Cool. You going to get hit tonight. All yep, right. try it. Uh, you lose four points of health. I feel like, God damn it, Becky's gonna hate me because Iris always gets to heal before my turn. <laughs> and so Becky's only gonna get healed by Iris. So, uh, <laughs> the enemy at hand looks a little worn and torn. This person doesn't have to move, so they don't technically have to lose concentration on their spell. This person, however, unfortunately, needs to hold the circle together since this one's about to attack. So with Ray, they bring out their weapon and lunge in for the potential kill. Uh, does 18 hit? Yep, it meets. All right. If only my freaking thing didn't burn. With a quick movement straight towards you, you said, oh, okay, then attack me. They grab their blade and slice straight through where they could poke through your armor. It hurts. Definitely hurts. It reminds you of being flung out of the portal, <laughs> but in a selective <laughs> spot. <laughs> but uh, thankfully enough, you don't die from it. <sighs> in the meantime, Iris uh, <laughs> takes her turn, looks around, sees who else is injured. Let's see if she can make it here. Uh, yes, she can. Uh, let's see here. Do, do, do. She only has so many left. Uh, Becky, you heal two points, and Iris then states, All right, I'm out of lay on hands. Uh, I will have to use spells now. Uh, I've never had to do this outside of the Feywild. I don't know how this will go. Iris, do not worry. Here, spells do not have a negative effect. I don't know that. Well, no. then try. <laughs> um. Oh. oh, boy. Watch oh, the kitty's mad that I'm getting it. Oh. <laughs> it's like, um, she's right next to me, but okay. Um, <laughs> I will step right next to Becky. Um, is Swine still there? Yes, Swine's still Ooh. alive and kicking. He has been hurt, but not so much that he dies. All right, I'm gonna pull the trigger. Okay. Well, Nara pulls out gun. <laughs> pulls out gun. No. <laughs> no. Oh, I will pull out my crossbow on him as well. And let's see. If you're using a crossbow, you, you could have... Uh, made I know I could have, but I don't know. So, uh... That could have been in the way. Unfortunately, oh. five does miss. Damn. <laughs> so when you <laughs> point it straight towards him, he looks at you, smirks, and when you take your shot, he simply ducks down. <laughs> Uh, you do he's do short. Five. Yeah, he's short. Uh, he, he probably does this all the time. You do shoot, and you hit this tree for five points of damage. Oh, oh. dear tree. God, not the tree. <laughs> not Ray that. will immediately use he Cure Wounds on the tree. 
Oh Unfortunately, gosh, you're not a Lorax, so it does not do a thing. Not <laughs> oh, anything. <dang> <laughs> um, I will take a step back. All if that's right. possible. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, normally, Perfect. this uh, moving against someone after, like, if they're enemy and you move away from them, that does consider uh, an attack of opportunity. Okay. However, since you're not moving that far, this is technically uh, using your movement to walk away defensively. Mm -hmm. So you're fine in this case. Again, you guys are just learning, so I am not going to bombard you guys with rules. Yet. Just keep that in mind. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Micah. Yeah. Just yayed into oblivion right there. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I think she died when she yayed! <laughs> okay. Uh, if you can hear me, 22 does hit. So, uh, where it says 22 and 14, uh, you yep. hover over the longsword. When it turns red, you click on it. Yep. Who are you Is attacking, that by the way? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, you, you were... Okay, so you oh. moved. Yeah. Swine. Yeah. I'm a little annoyed. Okay, unfortunately, <laughs> Becky, people have been attacking. Uh, when Nara attacked, you look straight towards her. While you're looking away, Micah brings out their longsword, slashes down, and in an instant, so because this person was also looking at Nara, just basically... Uh, like a child, whenever they smugglingly get something right, uh, they just look towards her, stick out their tongue, and when that happens, Micah just pierces into the body, pierces back oh. out, and Swine just hits the ground with the tongue sticking out of his mouth, as if he's yeah. one. She is the strongest. <laughs> <laughs> or the, at the very least, the most lucky. Yes. Micah, who, uh, who is... is who is injured around me? Uh, is Becky, Becky is. injured? Currently, Becky uh, is. the amount of hit points you can heal is a total of five. Five. Uh, and you can how many? Do less than that, or you can do a max of five. How how many points is she down? She is eleven health out of fourteen. So down by three. Okay. So I would like to do a bonus. Is it? Right? Mm -hmm. A bonus action. All right. And lay on hands. Uh, Becky, okay. immediately you feel someone press their hand against you. Uh, you look around, wondering what that is, and then you notice Swine on the ground dead. You're upset. Oh. You don't know who did this. Mike is for some reason patting you on the back, maybe uh, to console you. It feels great. Uh, you heal three hit points. Yes. You're back up to full. But unfortunately, someone did steal your kill. And I know I don't know who it is, right? Uh, you can. What's your passive perception? Uh, is it fourteen? Um. No. Okay. Uh. Well, I know that wait. it could be Micah, but you don't have any evidence against them. Okay. So you're looking at them, but you have no technical proof. Alyssa. Okay, so I'm going to move in this direction because this is a person that seems like could be a threat. And I never know how far I can go. Uh, I believe just... your character can move 30 feet. 30 feet. And each square is five. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here. Okay. And I'm going to. I'm gonna throw my dagger at this guy over here, the furthest one. All right. Try something different. That does hit. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. Whoop. I didn't mean to Hold do it. that. 
You don't get a cricket. I didn't mean to do that. I... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mother really wants to do the damage. <laughs> She's clicking everything today. I just said, you grab your dagger and immediately you see Micah toss out a dagger out of nowhere. Or maybe it was a rock. You can't really tell. It's probably a rock. Uh, it just hits this person for no reason. Doesn't do a thing. Uh, the person looks down, looks towards Micah and like shrugs and puts their hands up. Like basically stating, why'd you do that? And with that distraction, you grab your blade and swing it straight towards them. Pierce through their neck. Probably hit an artery as they go oh. down to the ground dead. Oh, Damn. wow. You oh. lost the dagger, but you can always, always go go to the body and like pick it back up. It's fine. Okay, that will be my... Oh, wait, no, that's not like a bonus action, is it? Uh, no, that... Like throwing the dagger now. Okay, then I'm, I guess I'm done. All right. Right. Heal by five. Uh, yourself? Yep. Okay. Um, I used uh, cure wounds. Mm -hmm. And then just stare at this person. <sighs> okay. You look at me. Look at me. You did no damage. Everyone else is dead. I'm gonna go try to save them. But I need you to run away. Roll persuasion. If this person... Hey, you know, <laughs> meet or beat it at this point. Mm. <laughs> 15, that's all I can do. I will roll for this again. Uh, let's see here. He had a plus two last time. I mean, it, if, did, if, if he beats yourself. me or if he stays, honestly, it, it's on him for dying at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, like, this person looks at, like, a 1v6 and just goes, Yeah, I got this. <laughs> yeah, that's certainly I've true. Training. I'm going to remove I've his been bonuses. studying the blade. So it's all I've on the luck of the studying dice. the blade. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it! Come kill this son of a bitch! <laughs> he looks at you. So <laughs> uh, looks at his dagger, puts it away, brings out an even more menacing short sword, and goes, <laughs> You don't understand. I've been training the blade, working day and night for this people. They pay me very well. It's just, and I, I am just... afraid of my boss, uh -huh, so no uh -huh. offense. It's, it's fine, it's great. It's just, you you know, you do you. You do you. Okay, great. <laughs> just, just can't. Like, Ray, like, Ray is just sitting in there, like, hands just in the air, shrugging at everyone else. Just like, I, I'm done. I don't know. Just, you know. Mm. <laughs> he goes for the attack, swings in, and I'm pretty sure 21 Ow. hits you. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Wait, is it his turn? It is huh? not. <laughs> okay. You That's lucked nice. out because yeah. I got yep. overzealous. Yep, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it hits me. Not overzealous, but, you know. Uh, anyways, Ray, anything else? Nope. Yep. Okay. Uh, Tim looks at you, thinks you got it, gives you a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Becky. Alright, I'm pretty angry, so I step over here. Oh, there's only um, one person left. <laughs> fair. No. Right about here. How far can I throw my sword? Uh, <laughs> throw your spear <laughs> sword? <laughs> yeah. You could oh. just move what's your, there. <laughs> what's your strength? Um, my strength yeah. is five. Uh, plus I five. A javelin. You could probably throw yeah, it like 20 five. feet. Oh, you have a javelin though? Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, I have javelin. Oh, you have a javelin. You can oh. throw that. Yeah. Throw my sword. I thought you were going to throw your giant great sword. Up. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right. Okay. I'm enraged, so I lift my sword up. Uh huh. Well, I lift it up a really high in the air above my head. Yes. And I turn it the one side. Mm -hmm. And with all my force, I swing it down as hard as I can on this guy on the ground. Well, uh, unfortunately for Ray, uh, as mentioned before, if someone goes down and they get hit, they lose a death save. Becky, go ahead and roll for an attack. Their AC is like 10 because they're really not moving or doing anything. So you just have to hit. 
Okay. Normally their AC is 13, but I removed their dex uh, because they're not moving. Uh, you swing your blade straight at this person. Let's see how much damage you do. <laughs> 10. Well, they normally Smush have uh, 6 HP. So, with this, you stab directly into the person, and you kind of cut them in half. No, this can't be healed by general means. Maybe a greater restoration alongside other spells, but you kind of don't have that. Uh, Becky kind of cut this person in half, and with a great thrust and a good poke, this person is now very much dead. You know, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Case in point, and though, then, you kind of didn't have to do that, but it's funny cause that you did. Yeah, I, I'm, in, I'm, I'm angry that yeah. someone stole my kill and I needed to kill someone. Um, and then for my bonus, can I steal what's on him? Uh, go ahead and roll me a sleight of hand. See what you can grab, like in the immediate. Not everything, but you can probably grab some stuff. Uh, sleight of hand. You grab something quickly from his bag before anyone can notice. You grab what appears to be a small little pearl, the size of an actual pearl, but the pearl itself seems to be glittering rather than being a pearl whiteness. Uh, more like eggshell, really. It seems more um, translucent and prismatic than it should be. It's probably worth a lot, though. Uh, at least uh, easily 50 gold. Maybe more. Uh, okay. Enemy turn. <laughs> There's only one enemy. Uh, they give the whole spiel again. You don't understand. Uh, I've been training in the blade. <laughs> the 16 hit. Right. Uh, no, it does not. Okay. Uh, they go straight for a swing. This time, however, they completely miss, uh, which is unfortunate. Oh, I just got back. Wait, you killed the unconscious person? <laughs> yes. Yes. I am I fucking pissed at you now. I smushed him. Look at I. I, I smushed him really good. I'm surprised oh. you didn't get mad. That makes sense. Because <laughs> I was. Oh, you didn't know that. Was Seth, damn oh. I went up to throw my sword. Instead, I just smashed the Swung guy. Down. I am. Mm. Someone kill stealed her, so she might as well save steal. You save steal. Fucking livid. Uh, you know what? At this point, uh, as Iris begins to move, this person swings at you, doesn't hit, and will try to run away. It they that does also proc an attack of opportunity for Ray if Ray decides to take it. You don't have to, but you can. Again. No, I no. <laughs> <laughs> I Come do not. <laughs> oh wait, this guy's cut in half. You also can tell that this circle is beginning to slow down, with no one actually uh, controlling it. It is slowly decreasing in speed. Iris looking around, seeing who's hurt, looking at the danger. Doesn't have to use the spell, so she'll never learn, at least right now, if <laughs> it'll go wild. Oh. Oh, no. no. Oh, is there still combat? Uh, if you guys are letting him run away, but I'm going to go through everyone until it reaches his turn again. Okay. And see okay. if he survives. Okay. I'm just going to stand back and just watch everybody unfold. All right. Micah. <laughs> uh, if you're saying something, I can't hear you. Oh, have you been muted up there? Uh, I just remember the yeah and then cut out. So it oh, might she be hasn't talked that. since the yeah. No, she did. Oh, came okay. back for a little bit, but it might be because of that. She might just need to leave the chat and then come back. Oh, okay. Just okay. leave the Discord chat. Just connect and then come back. If you can hear me.
Okay, um, it is your turn. Currently, there's no enemies near you, but uh, there is one pretty far away. You do manage to get uh, 30 feet closer to him. Uh, you could probably move five more feet if you want to, but he's still 20 feet away. So if you have a long range attack, you could probably do that. See your vampire wings. <laughs> oh so, uh, looking at your attacks, you have a long sword, a dagger, claws, and a bite. In order to try to hit him, your dagger would likely be the thing that could probably hit at this range. Again, oh, wow. I don't care if you kill this person. This person, at this point, is <laughs> so powerful. All right, uh, hover over the word dagger. Uh, click on it and do damage. The damage you dealt is enough to kill him. So with a quick dagger, you lunge straight towards him. He is currently running away. He looks back, wondering if everything's okay, if he's going to make it. If he's going to see his family again. Oh, wait, he remembers he has no family. Well, he's two weeks from retirement. No, he's not. He's currently employed against a very or <laughs> dangerous organization. Uh... Pondering this, he immediately gets stabbed in the back with a dagger as he hits the ground, wondering where exactly he, where, which specific point, uh, and when it happened, when he really screwed up. Was I don't it know. now, or when he joined <laughs> this weird group? Or the refusal of not running away six times in a row? <laughs> Who will ever know? <laughs> With that, though, maybe that. <laughs> oh no, Com mm. Uh, Ray will. Can Ray have initiative? Uh, sure. Ray will walk <laughs> over to Becky and just. Becky goes for high five. We'll miss the high five and just put. Ray will put a hand on Becky's shoulder, next to Becky's hair. And then in a menacing look, standing above Becky, feeling the pressure from Ray's intensity. I sets don't... fire to Becky's hair. I don't think you're that tall. <laughs> oh, so I think you're, 11 you're, misses. Uh, God damn it! Uh, so, um... <laughs> I'm sorry I'm going to describe it this way, but it's the only way I can. Unfortunately, it does make Ray look bad. So... Uh, Ray, but you know what? Ray misses every roll at this point. Ray uh, is bad. You stare <laughs> up, uh, intimidating like a chihuahua stares at a Doberman that is near its food. Uh, you produce flames in your hand. For some reason, the wind this day just flicks it to the side, and you like set a tree on fire for like a quick second, but it's not enough to actually catch it on fire. You just set a tree on fire for like a split second. Uh, Becky, is your passive perception at least an 11? Not very perceptive. Uh, you don't notice Ray uh, setting her hand on fire near your hair. It was warm um, for a second, but you don't notice that attitude change. I put my hand from my high five on Ray's shoulder, thinking that's how he high fives. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Ray's from a different city than you are. You're just visiting the city and accidentally got into trouble. Who knows? Maybe clasping shoulders is how they high five. <laughs> but uh, after a while, the portal circles begin to shut down and eventually close. Ray will... <sighs> Again, try go around to everyone and, and do spare the dying. See if <laughs> because that that was the only thing Ray has done right. <laughs> and dear God, Ray's not in a good mood. Um, As Ray attempts, um, so I go around. I lift my. I lift my. So fucking dare! I lift my great sword above my head, blunt side, and I come down and I smash the bodies. And I say, pss, 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 pss. <laughs> here's some cat food. 
Uh, oh. You do it to Slime. There's like no way faking his, uh, Ray can stop you. But uh, before you go to another one, Iris looks at you when you go, pss, 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 I have some cat food, looks towards you. Uh, hey, Becky, do you mind if I speak with you for like a second? Like over here. Can talk. <laughs> She's been talking. <laughs> uh, looks towards you. Uh, and yeah. then simply states, yeah, so, Becky. Uh, in the meantime, Ray's rushing, grabbing bodies, bringing them with her, making sure that they can't <laughs> uh, be slashed at. Grabs a body, heals. Grabs a body, <laughs> heals. Uh, Ray, go ahead and roll stealth to try to hide these bodies. <laughs> uh, oh meantime, no, I have a negative one. <laughs> oh no, Morose. <laughs> hey! In the meantime, everyone else can tell. Alyssa, you can easily tell. Uh, Nara, you can tell. Micah, you can tell. Uh, that Iris is going to speak with Becky, but also distracting her enough that maybe Ray's people survive. Uh, however, Micah is eating the two that died. Like, there's no saving swine. And there's no saving that one guy. <laughs> It's just like eating potatoes, at yeah. this, mashed potatoes at this point. Just, um, but Iris just... looks towards Becky and states, Yeah, so hey, first of all, cat folk, not a cat. When I get that clear, if you keep calling me that, I'll probably attack you. Don't mean to be rude. Just giving you this warning now. Uh, two, it seems that Ray really wants to save lives. I don't know what upbringing you have. And don't get me wrong, I love to kill people as much as the next person. You don't know if that's a lie or not, but she then states. Uh, but if you can, try to do it while Ray's not around, because I think she might hinder that. Uh, or doesn't want that to happen. I'm going to leave it up to you, but I feel like Ray doesn't know how to express herself emotionally around people. So if you can try to help her out with that, that'd be really great. Becky gets really close and starts to realize that this isn't just a normal cat because it's been pretty blurry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You wouldn't really see the face, the body. It's just a very big cat. And so she starts to blush and is very, very kind of embarrassed and quickly changes the subject to be like, oh, yeah, Ray, I have been trying to push him towards a different path because him healing, let's just say, hasn't worked out ever. Yeah, and I figure maybe he'd have better luck being in combat. And if he's going to go around healing everybody, he's never going to have any of that combat experience because he just thinks everything ends well. I don't think they want that, though. Uh, I mean, you could probably maybe speak with them about combat uh, to get their opinion rather than forcing it onto them. But I mean, well, for someone in armor, you would think they'd be able to do something. Well, sometimes they wear armor to protect themselves so they don't have to heal themselves while they heal others. Sometimes we put up shells to protect ourselves before we can help out someone else. It's like when I you don't... speak with someone and you don't understand them, but you still try to help them because they're another person. I don't really get it because, um, yeah, I, I don't really get it, but I'll, I'll try to help. But on another note, I would watch out for Micah. Uh, Micah's been giving off some predatory vibes. Um, yeah. And I now that I know <laughs> you're not actually a cat, I am a little bit more concerned than I was earlier. So... Um, yeah, uh, again, try to speak with each other. No offense. Uh, it doesn't seem like you guys are very good at communicating. And based on the relationships I've seen in my own life, that usually hurts a lot at the end process of things. Iris, I don't know what you signed up for. I don't think you did either. I'm but here as I a think, teacher. Well, let's just say this group is not actually a group. We just accidentally stumbled, you know, together. And 
we're rarely successful in anything we do. <laughs> <laughs> I can I just for a moment when, all I can imagine Mother <laughs> posted hungry hippo. <laughs> I like when you're like, get some real predatory vibes from Micah. Just turn around and hungry hippoing this dead guy into <laughs> On that note, um, thank you for the heels. I'm, I've got something to look for. I might have accidentally smushed a guy with some cash on him. So just gonna go check his body All right. parts. Again, uh, communication is key. If you want to kill people, I don't have a problem with that. Just make sure everyone else is also fine with that. Becky just shouts. I like killing people. Don't stop me from killing people. Looking over. Glaring this way. Uh, <laughs> you I can't see me, I'm stealth! <laughs> no, uh, the body. Well, I know stealth. he walked As over you... this way. Glare over there, you can see like Ray's armor, but uh, as you're looking around, you can't see the dead bodies anymore. <laughs> Ray, you managed to heal those people just fine. Ironically yeah. enough, uh, most of those people just hit zero and needed to be stabilized. And thankfully enough, you did that. They will eventually awake, but you like put them in uh, like a little, not ditch. But an area where you can't easily see them unless you quite literally take hours uh, or specifically a good amount of time before you can find them. Yes. So, in term, uh, what did I loot Are in exchange for something? my... Yeah, I heal and I give mercy, but I take Someone's it at a finally price. looting. Okay. I it have really always looted the person like I healed. is really influencing you. I have always been <laughs> the person I healed. I know, I'm just That's why up. I had 50 uh, gold to, you know, give when I had Removing some fun. the <laughs> items that they have, uh, maybe uh, you contemplate how bad could really Becky's things do. I mean, sure, she's killing people, but uh, then you think, no, she killed the person I saved, so I still don't like that. Uh, while you're digging through the corpses' bodies. <laughs> Uh, you do find 25 gold total uh, oh spread God. apart. You also find 15 silver total. You also find 10 gold, not gold, uh, copper. Boys. So you go through the money first. You then find three daggers, mm. one short sword, uh, Nothing really else except for on each of them. They each have a head tattoo with what appears to be a dragon uh, marked over it. And underneath that seems to be almost uh, what resembles a uh, snowflake. Um, can I? I'm going to use my uh, ink and uh, paper that I have yes. in my kit. And I'm going to jot that down as best I can. Okay. Oh, yeah. I draw it out. Whoa. You quickly draw it out. It's not that hard to do, or at least not that hard to represent on the piece of paper. It's uh, it's not the best, but that's not your forte. But someone can easily depict performance this check. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, it's a pretty good drawing. Uh, it's not perfect. It's not pristine, but it's um, below pro, but better than amateur. Nice. You can definitely get a fiber gig. For a good amount of time. Hey. Uh, but eventually you do wander back to the group, probably. <laughs> Unless you're still mad at Becky. Oh, yeah, no. Probably just I, I'm her. still mad at Becky. But uh, Ray will go up to Becky. Okay. Becky. I don't care if you kill. But do not steal my ability to grant mercy. Keep that in mind. Walks away. Uh, Becky, you find uh, 18 gold. What? 17 silver. Guys, don't know why it has a slash ver, but it hasn't. <laughs> 
<laughs> Deliver. Five oh, car. Uh, one dagger. One uh blue longsword. A blue one. Ooh. Uh, sometimes people can temper steel to make this, or yeah. well, technically steel more or less doesn't exist here. Uh, sometimes metal can be uh, tempered to have a different color, but from what you can t now you technically can tell because you're half blind. Uh, the color of this is wrong. Hmm. Uh, there you do also kind of see. Well, to you, it looked like a hippo with, like, a circle behind them on both of these persons. Both swine and the other person. Okay. You can also, like, Ray, you could have stole the three cloaks. Uh, Becky, you could steal one cloak. Like, if you want to leave them in their underwear. <laughs> uh, nah, I, I nah, don't think Ray could funny. sell the cloaks enough for to, like, gross. to be worth it. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, Iris comes over here to Micah and Alyssa. Uh, no, actually, first she would go to Nira, while <laughs> Becky is grave robbing. Uh, That's what I do. Looks towards <laughs> uh, Nira. Um, so, are your companions always this way? Sadly, yes. But you'll end up getting used to it eventually. A little bit chaotic energy, but it's fine. I don't think it's a good idea to get used to looks at <laughs> Becky, kind of like going through the blood that swine is now covered in, including the stuff. Also, it's do not forget Micah idea. hungry, hungry hippoed a person, and so it's most likely just face covered in blood. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, again, Iris just states, I don't think that's a good idea to get used to this. Yeah, see, I don't mind it because I really keep you on your toes, but you should always, you know, watch your back just to make sure. Uh, but other than that, I don't think they'd turn on you. Uh, turning's not the issue, it's just, um, how should I phrase this? Uh... While I was growing up, I've seen a lot of abuse. If you get too used to it, it it really messes with you, even if they aren't hurting you physically. Mentally, it it can really mess with your head. Yeah, you're not wrong. Um, hmm. I just... Listen, I just had to be set up with them. I just have to roll with it. Oh, uh, Becky did mention, uh, like, you guys got set up together. Is there a reason for that? Uh, I it's thought you guys were just story. all friends adventuring. People do that, at least where I'm from. Yeah, let's just say part of this group was in a sticky situation. Oh. So Allegedly situation. So they're all convicts doing a job to clear their name. Yes. Oh. Shifty eyes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Over here is that? Yeah, Becky, you can and just like blatantly <laughs> says, "Yep." <laughs> uh, Iris tries to put her hand on your shoulder. Sympathy. Uh, can't actually reach of because of how tall she is. Uh, she can get, like, to your shoulder plate, but not any higher. Uh, so you just pat the side of your hand. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry that you have to deal with them. Oh, it's fine. It's never a dull moment with them. She begins to walk away and then states, Again, not a good idea to get used to that. <laughs> And then goes over to Alyssa and Micah. Uh, she then looks towards Micah. Um, so I'm assuming looks at your mouth that's dripping with blood. Sure. That's normal for you? Oh, so yes. I think this uh, Discord's <laughs> working for you again. So we yeah, might be able we to can hear you. You can hear me? Yes. Yeah. Oh, you're back. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's great. 
great. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so you say yes. I, uh, is there yes. a reason for that? I have a very temperamental stomach. And I have to consume blood sometimes to keep me healthy. Okay. Of course, this is the one time Micah just doesn't openly say vampire. <laughs> I thought it was some sort of lycanthropy situation, but uh, it could be some type of disease as well, I suppose. If you want, uh, I can maybe look over your body to examine, see if something can be done. Oh, I've been seen by the best. And, um, they pretty much said it's terminal. Oh. And I've come to cope with it. Well, I'm sorry about that. Um, I also, I also don't do well in the sun. Yeah. Uh, and enough, sometimes I think I can fly. If it's sunny. <laughs> <laughs> luckily enough, your coat does, uh, keep your body to the degree of not hurting, but it's kind of like a sunburn. You can tell that you are likely in pain, but thankfully enough, you're not fully visible. Well, not your body isn't fully uncovered that it'll hurt. It's that degree of, hey, I'm healing from a sunburn, but I'm not quite there yet. Yes. I re I'd rather you keep all of your gifts for everyone else. No worries about me. All right. Um, if you need to talk, let me know. Uh, people keep warning me about you. The way you say th stuff to my dad was a little worrying. But, you know, uh, people are different. Some people are misheard, misremembered, or mistreated due to the fact that they're different. And that's not okay. So if people are treating you differently and poorly due to what you are or what you have... <laughs> Let me know, and maybe I can speak with them. Thank you so much. I I was a little hungry earlier. Sometimes that makes me say things that could be interpreted in different ways. She nods, agreeing to the situation. Uh, then looks towards uh, Alyssa. Uh, are you okay, too? Uh, my shoulder is a little sore from throwing my dagger, but I think I'll be okay. Oh, uh, if you want, I can help you with that. <laughs> Probably not. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, she comes up behind you, looking towards your shoulder. All right, um, this is going to be surprising, but I'm going to put needles in your shoulder. It won't hurt you, and it also won't kill you, but it will be hot. Okay... Uh, she begins to put, uh, she takes out what appears to be a small little medical kit. Takes out, uh, technically, uh, I forget the word or naming of it. It's an actual practice in real life. Uh, acupuncture. acupuncture. Acupuncture, thank you. Uh, slowly and quickly, you don't even feel what she's doing, but she didn't tell you about it. Uh, she puts in about eight of the needles and then with a quick, uh, movement of her hand, she begins to heat the metal at the very tip. The metal transfers into your shoulder. Not the metal. The heat transfers into your shoulder, and it begins to loosen your shoulder to the degree of actually feeling it and without pain. Uh, you're not sure when, but she then quickly puts away her stuff back in order, closes the uh, said item, and puts it back in her bag. All right, um, you should be fine now. You should be okay, but are you okay? Yes, I actually feel much better, but is that blood dripping down my arm? Uh, it shouldn't be. Looking at it, uh, she notices Micah was a little too close and probably spilled <laughs> some. Oh, uh, let me get that for you. She then wipes it off of your armor. Uh... It was, but it, thankfully enough, wasn't yours. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> she comes over to <laughs> Micah, hands it over towards him. Um, this might help with your, maybe, iron deficiency. And hands it over <laughs> to Micah. 
Uh, she, thank you. She thank then looks you very towards, much. Uh, no problem. She then looks towards Alyssa. Um, so, from what I can tell, your friend uh, group was forced together. Um, you're all very different. And there's not a dull moment. Are you going to be okay with that? Um, I mean, I've been okay with it so far. Uh, I mean, uh, don't get me wrong. Having something to do is great, but doing something out of boredom can lead to danger. Uh, it's possible that your group might accidentally get you killed. Based off the actions I've seen, uh, looks towards Becky that cut someone in half. Looks towards Nara that... <laughs> shot someone to death looks towards ray that got yeah i was could easily tell that ray was going to set becky's hair on fire but doesn't say anything uh <laughs> looks towards micah and his potential iron deficiency for some reason she seems fine with him uh looks towards uh ulsa and then states uh it, it's possible they might accidentally hurt you or get you killed not by any means of themselves but putting you in a position that could be dangerous um, if you want, I can speak with, well, not my dad, but if you want, I can speak with my mom and see if she can train you so you're safer. It'll take you away from the group, but, uh, it'll help you. Well, they are a little reckless, so sometimes I do worry. Maybe that would be a good idea. Yeah, and, you know, if my mom says you're good to go doesn't believe that you'll die you can always come back or just completely leave these guys because some of them seem a little unhinged I do agree with you on that even though I do think they're all good people or almost all people who knows it's subjective (laughs) (laughs) Uh, but if you want I can call my mom All right, uh, she begins to make a circle on the ground. After a while, she looks at the portal and then states, All right, um, she should come in about 10 minutes. Uh, So if there's anything else you need to say to your team before you go or speak with her, you might want to do it now. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, um, hey guys. did you not want to? No, it just caught me off guard. Oh. I wasn't prepared for this. This is going to be emotional. <laughs> Everyone Hi, guys. Around. I um, just wanted to tell you that I've had really fun traveling with you guys and fighting people and killing people. <laughs> um, <laughs> but... Iris just told me about this awesome opportunity to train with her mom, and I can become a better fighter and keep myself safe. So I'm going to be leaving you guys. Oh. oh. I'm going to miss no. you. You were the purest of hearts. <laughs> you carried us in the game, though. <laughs> You're crossbows. I, I know I was the most dynamic and energetic person in the group. <laughs> I'm probably going to be really quiet when I leave you guys, but just know that I'm going to miss you and I have every confidence that you guys can conquer the world together. Alyssa, well, just know this. I'm glad you're leaving to go somewhere safe. It's better than that than following us and getting yourself killed. You do hear, Iris. I didn't say it was safe. It's just training. You won't die in my presence. (laughs) <laughs> I was I was pretty sure you were gonna die, so this this is pretty good. Um, that's case scenario. That's case scenario is you're alive and There's you no time. went to a city to find work <laughs> in a stable and now you're stuck in the Feywild. <laughs> <laughs> it's I'll pretty much that. everything you dreamed of. <laughs> <laughs> Your dreams have come true. Uh, I'm very proud of you. <laughs> Thank you guys for your support. I will miss you guys. I will sure miss we'll you, you too. 
Alyssa waves slowly to everybody as right. she follows Iris. Uh, Iris leads you to the portal, and when she arrives, she touches it, and an immediate sparks jolt, and someone else comes from the other side. Uh, a very pristine-looking woman, someone with elegant clothes, a nice top hat, but you can tell slightly that there are ears literally underneath it. Uh, so she's not actually a human, uh, rather than a cat folk as well. However, she is roughly around five feet tall, uh, with maybe a few inches to spare. She is definitely more adjusted to the actual realm that you guys belong to, rather than, you know, a three-foot person. I mean, they exist, three people, uh, three-foot people, uh, dwarves, halflings, and the like. But, uh, currently you haven't met that many. The very tall, elegant woman steps out, uh, Surprisingly enough, Becky, you can tell that the hat is uh, similar to the make and model of Iris's father's uh, sweater that he gave you, and then you stomped on the ground and stepped on it. <laughs> Thinking back on that, you did see uh, a name tag on it. Uh, it read uh, Quinn's Works. Uh, on the brim of the hat, you can tell that it says Quinn's. It could be... Uh, some very fashionable designer. Who knows? But uh, the woman then states, Oh, Iris, uh, is all these people going with me? I thought you said only one. Oh, no, it's only one. Uh, they just decided to circle around you for some reason. Oh. Well, you are of age, and you technically um. can make your own decisions. Just make sure you make the right ones. Oh. Yeah, uh, she says me. underneath her breath, like you did. Uh, can I buy your hat? Oh, um, if you'd like. It does cost a pretty penny, though. Uh, if you have, uh, 15 gold. Yes, here you go. Alright, uh, you have one very nice hat. my inventory as nice cat hat okay uh the designer's name is q u i n quinn quinn uh she then looks towards you she removes the hat but i don't have a token with her cat ears out so it stays like this but she removes her hat uh she then goes all right then uh if you, your companion's ready and if your team can step back like five feet i would like some personal space please no one moves. <laughs> Except maybe. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I'm, oh. I have a question before I go. Yes. yes. On body. Um, is it going to be a problem if I'm allergic to cats? Um, <laughs> we are cat folk. It's not the same thing. Okay. Well, I do have my medicine just in case. Okay. Uh, we'll make sure your deal. Uh. We'll make sure you're healed in case something happens. Uh, we'll try to keep you ready, safe and strong. Keep you trained, keep you courteous, keep you kind. Uh, Iris, is this a person that you want protected and safe? Yes. All right, we'll make sure to do that as well. <sighs> and no wonder you two got together, she says underneath her breath. Uh, what was that? I said, it's great that you two are together. Oh, I suppose it is. She is your friend, after all, and I'd like to help her. Now then, dear, come with me. We will first learn the processes of healing. Right now, uh, the best standard healer would be my ex-husband, but we'll, we'll settle for the second best, which would be me. We'll make sure you survive, and in case you get hurt, we'll make sure you're able to heal yourself and anyone else you care for. Uh Wow, wonderful. I can't wait. As you step through the portal, wave goodbye to your friends. Uh, Ray sticks out a hand, <laughs> uh, points her finger up, says, uh, uh, and before you can say anything more, uh, Alyssa has further advanced her journey, going uh, and training beyond the stars. 
What Maybe lies in wait stable. for her will likely be some grand adventure. While Ray wonders to herself, Yeah, that's right. Bishop technically was the best, and Iris was his daughter. So why didn't I ask about her mother? But it's too late but now, and I what happens Iris after? Better. <laughs> it all depends on what you do next. But one thing is definitely certain. As this happens, and as you turn the corner, before anyone else, or at least before uh, Alyssa can get in trouble, the town guard makes their way forwards. And I'll... Well, I'll has a few questions for the rubble rousers that keep making trouble. As we end the session for today. <laughs>